Hi there, everyone. My name is Matt, and I am one of the founders of a brand new concept that we're bringing to South Africa. Namely, we have built the first end-to-end -end onboard weight management system for commercial trailers. In essence, we are able to convert trailers into mobile weigh bridges. Take a look. Are you delivering the perfect payload every time? Want to avoid fines and unnecessary waiting en route? Turing Insights has just the right solution for you. By utilizing both hardware and software systems, Turing Insights takes the guesswork out of loading and provides accurate real-time weight in motion solutions. Our system is really simple. First, Turing installs industry-leading hardware devices on the vehicle. These consist of weight sensors, loading lights, a digital radio and an onboard GPS tracking system. Next, Turing puts a powerful analytics engine at your fingertips. The data created by your fleet's trailers is intelligently processed to give you complete real-time analytics and control, creating your own virtual weigh bridge on the vehicle. The GPS system provides real-time tracking of the vehicle on any device, anywhere, anytime. By using our solution, the task of loading accurately is made effortless in just a few steps. First, start by loading each bin. The loading lights will begin to flash. Once each bin is optimally loaded, the loading lights will switch from amber to green. Switching from green to red indicates an overloaded bin. Finally, the digital radio installed inside the vehicle indicates the gross vehicle mass. These numbers accurately represent the weight recorded on a traditional weigh bridge within a 1.5% threshold, which allows the driver to avoid insufficient loading or overloading. Turing Insights provides industry-leading onboard weight management and analytics, all in one simple solution. Visit our website at www.turinginsights.com and let us solve all your bulk transport challenges. Turing Insights, the future of accurate onboard weight measurement. Now that you've had an overview of what we do, I'd like to add some context. So if we take a step back and you look in the room, you will see that 99% of what you have in that room has been on road freight at some point in time during its lifetime. From there, we can also deduce that 99% of that has experienced one or if not multiple of the problems that you see on the screen. What we've got here is ultimately a solution that will address the five pillars that are causing logistics companies massive headaches. One of them, capacity optimization. Being able to load the perfect load at the first time is extremely difficult. Turing's solution with its load lights and its onboard weight management system has the ability to address that issue. Unexpected weight losses. So being able to track at any point in time with a live stream the weight or the asset at the back of your particular trailer is something that Turing has the ability to complete as well. Asset utilization. This comes in two particular formats. The one is being able to track unauthorized trips that have been engaged on, or secondly, fuel efficiency increases. We're currently partnering with Volvo as well to ensure that we get extensive detail on the ability to ensure uh, fuel efficiency management. Weight governance. Weight governance, again, is just about the full historical audit of weight on a particular asset. And lastly, performance culture, being able to hold the driver uh, or the operations team accountable for anything that goes amiss during its time. What I'd like to do, though, is drill into the ecosystem. Logistics alone is not what Turing envisions to tackle. We're looking at effectively binding a fragmented industry today that will allow us to have everybody communicate on one platform. Today, if you look at the top right-hand corner of our solution, we have tackled trailer owners, trailer manufacturers, and the OEMs that are currently the, um, the, the main producers of vehicles on the road. Um, and they have all jumped on board and are very excited to engage in this venture with us. But what's equally as important is the ability for major industry players, such as construction, oil and gas, 
minds and quarries and effectively the SOEs to jump on board with us because that is really going to complete the value chain for us in terms of uh, an end-to-end -end solution. Um, there are multiple benefits for these industry players, such as being able to track the efficiency, the number of loads, the number of tonnage that has left a quarry or a mine, and it's extremely exciting because that can all be done live. What you'll see on the bottom left-hand corner, effectively, are the peripheral players that will be joining us in this particular venture. And again, we've had discussions with them, such as the insurance houses, the security companies, to effectively join us as an operational arm uh, and ensure that Turing becomes a success. Lastly, in the top left-hand corner, what you'll be able to see is the major government players. And we have had multiple discussions with government today, and they are extremely keen, um, and we're quite excited to hopefully be announced a pilot project um, with, government, uh, with government coming in the near future. And that's going to be predominantly focused on things like compliance and ultimately we'll be looking at infrastructure as well. Turing is, is made up of two distinct components. The solution itself distinguishes itself through hardware and through software. When we take hardware as an independent, what I'd like to jump into and explain is that we do not use the traditional measurement techniques that are currently out there as a standalone. It's not just a pneumatic system, it's not a load cell, and it's not just a mechanical leaf spring deflection. We don't use just a single technique. We utilize two specific techniques. One of them is pneumatic, the other one is strain gauge technology. We measure the deflection in an axle, which allows us to be the most accurate onboard weight management system today. Currently, we've done over a thousand loads with both three axle uh, back tippers and effectively interlinks, which are side tippers. And our average on the back tippers, our average accuracy has been 0.25%, whereas on the interlinks, it's been 0.75%. If we drill in further to the, our hardware partners as well, our hardware has been proven over the past 25 years and has gone global. What does this mean? It means that we effectively have transversed across multiple countries, uh, across multiple industries, uh, including timber, oil and gas, and effectively public transport. And this has been proven uh, with the quality ratio of less than 99% callback rate for our hardware. So that is an immense statistic and we're extremely proud of. With regards to the software itself, well, we've got a couple of really great features that we've embedded in the software, of which weight governance clearly one of them. We do overloads and underloads, but not just from a gross vehicle mass perspective, but also we've integrated using our analytics engine the Weybridge formulas and the axle weight formulas that are currently in the South African Government Gazette. Um, this is extremely exciting because it's the first of its kind to be able to track that type of weight measurement live. Uh, when it comes to notifications, because we're playing in an IoT space and everything that we do on the back end um, is extremely forward thinking, we feel that we are pioneers in the space, we have live, real-time notifications that get pinged every five seconds. So if anything happens to the vehicle or to the system, we are able to give the operator notifications at any point in time. As I mentioned before, there's Weybridge compliance. This transverses from gross vehicle masses all the way through to the Weybridge formulas and the axle weight formulas. On top of that, we add in fleet analytics. This is a basic, but our fleet analytics our fleet analytics is really important because what it does is it gives us utilization statistics on how many kilometers a particular trailer has gone empty or fully laden, and this translates directly into tenders that are currently being uh, applied for, where it's one full load there, one empty load back. Uh, so there's a direct correlation there, uh, which is extremely exciting and has been very well received. We have the ability to geofence as well. So looking at a specific area, we can then track the performance of that area. Case in point, we can geofence a quarry or a mine. Uh, we can then understand the average loading time of a particular commercial uh, vehicle, we can understand the uh, average waiting time, and on top of it, uh, we can also track the load as it's left uh, the, uh, the actual quarry or the site. Uh, given the IoT perspective of this particular presentation, I'd like to mention that we can do over-the-air calibrations. So our 
uh, hardware and our software can speak towards one another. It's bi-directional, which means that if I'm sitting here in my room, I can calibrate a vehicle that is anywhere in the world. Uh, and this is extremely exciting because this is the first point for us to incorporate more devices and we'll, we'll be expanding on that as uh, 2021 arrives. Let me give you an example of the software. Here's a demo. Welcome to the Turing Onboard Weight Management System. Um, you will be able to see that this is the landing page of our platform uh, where we have all the vehicles that are currently registered uh, and you will be able to select a particular vehicle and get the high level information of that vehicle. Having selected the vehicle, we can see the key KPIs of that particular vehicle and we will be filtering on another date. Once we filter on the date, this is what happened yesterday. Uh, we can see the events that have occurred on the left hand side from underload, overload, waiting and unexpected weight changes. Once we select a particular event, that event will reflect on the map. So you can see what happened prior to that event and that entire trip, and that reflects on the graph as well. You can see the red line there on the graph. If we zoom in into a particular spot on the graph um, and we highlight uh, a selected area, we can get additional information such as the weight and the speed of the vehicle at any point in time during the trip you'll see that there are small fluctuations. Those occur due to acceleration and to braking as our system is extremely sensitive. The average weight of this particular trip was 51.98 tons and there was an offloading point as well where eventually we had an empty weight and that empty weight was 17 tons. Now that you've seen Turing Insights, uh, the hardware and the software, you can contact me, Matt, uh, at www.turing dash insights.com or alternatively matt at turing dash insights.com for any sort of inquiry. I look forward to hearing from you and I look forward to you being part of this amazing fourth industrial revolution and this new venture. Thank you.